When our founders declared a new order of the ages, they were acting on an ancient hope that is meant to be fulfilled. The ancient hope of which Bush refers to in his second inauguration speech demonstrates that Bush, or at the very least the authors of his speech, are well aware of the plan initiated by an ancient occult hierarchy now operating as secret societies to forge a world empire. Anna P. Hall, a 33-degree Freemason, an occultist and regarded as one of the greatest authorities on the topic of secret societies and Freemasonry in particular, quote, In this way, the old dream of the philosophic empire descended from the ancient world to modern time. Secret societies still exist, and regardless of the intemperance of the times, they will continue to flourish until the quest is complete. For more than 3,000 years, secret societies have labored to create the background of knowledge necessary to the establishment of an enlightened democracy among the nations of the world, end quote. And for those that have seen a lot of this before, I'm sorry, but we need to show this to the new people, to people that are just starting to, you know, people that haven't seen this before. So you can see right here, Washington, D.C. You see this right here? This is known as the ellipse. See, ellipse means an alignment. It also means the CERN Hadron Collider, something that could actually open up wormholes or even do a type of time travel. This is the foot of Jesus Christ. See the 50 for the fifth age? He's kicking the nuclear football, and it's bruising the head of the beast. This is the exact same picture we just showed over there with something happening to the Vatican and to the USA. Right here is the woman of the Bible teeing up the football. Right there. See the woman? Teeing up the football. See how perfect that all is? It goes all the way up here to Abraham Lincoln Memorial, which is Abraham sitting on the throne of the world. As this is looking at us, this is the right-hand side, and this is the left-hand side. You're going to see this guy coming down as we go up. And Jesus sits on top and judges the world as he comes down, and the other guy comes down and is like the, he's known as the Great Millstone. Here he is, right here. He's also known as the little horn of the Bible. See him right there? Perfect. He comes right down through here, and that's him getting his head bruised. Over here now, you can see everybody going up and what's known as this beast rising. You can actually see this ape rising. That means guerrilla warfare and a type of epidemic that is going to be released. A virus that will destroy billions and billions of people. A disease being released, as well as nuclear war. And then these guys are going to tell you they have the cure. But the cure is going to be poison. See the clownfish in the poison? Right there, it's a great deception. Jesus says all of this is a great deception. And the only way out is to actually lose your life at this time. If you stay alive and end up taking the mark of the beast and stuff, you will lose your soul. Because you can't come over here with the woman and with Jesus. See that? All the sand represents the people. We will be as the sands of the sea. That's what he promised to Abraham. Jesus will go to the throne. This guy comes down. Now, the date, the 15th. This is all marked out by dates. The football is teed up on the 15th. See the nuclear football? and the great heart machine see the nuclear football see China ready to kick it they're going to nuke and invade the USA hundreds of millions of soldiers are coming North Korea just like that show Red Dawn our USA government wants it to happen because it actually goes right by the Bible and, and then they will rise up it's a trap too this is the part I normally don't tell this is a trap for the red side we have to go as Moses and cross through the Red Sea. As they all come after us and come after the USA soon, this giant earthquake is going to wipe out a big part of them. Literally. And then the great deception will begin as they rise back up. It's all just a, a wondrous, beautiful story that God has set all around us. So the fifth angel is coming. The Revelation 9-1-1 beast. That's why they blew up the Twin Towers. This is known as the Freemason Royal Arch. This all goes by scripture, the two pillars in, in front of Solomon's temple. This side is Jesus. He takes all of his people with this cornucopia. And then this person is let loose, the moon god Allah. The woman comes off of the moon. 
See the woman here standing on the moon? The dragon comes and then the woman gets the wings of a great eagle. See the great eagle right there? That's the same thing as the great eagle, the oil for the wise virgins. This side here gets broken. Jesus says he breaks this side because, to, because he was sold for 30 pieces of silver. Then grace and mercy is over, and the only way into heaven is to get through the law, the Ark of the Covenant, get by the, the moon god Allah, and the knights of the garland. See the garland on here? As the red side of the world rises back up with Prince William and all through there. And this beast comes out. An actual type of beast. Some type of vampiric type smoke gin demon. See him right there? Ready to go. Jesus releases that and all of this and takes all of his people away. Now it says right here, this is the side of beauty that he breaks. March 21st through September 23rd. The woman is known as Wisdom. This woman is actually called Wisdom, an angel of wisdom, literally. <laughs> I'm serious. And the church. You will come to Jesus Christ if you have wisdom. If you don't and you get stuck in Islam or any of these other things, you didn't have any wisdom. You were not a wise virgin. But now the time of the crossing is right in the middle of July. So we are nearing that time. We have to keep watch. This is why the moon landing happened on July 20th. The eagle has landed on the moon, representing the moon. See the moon? All through there. The moon landing and then the woman being rescued and brought away and then this beast being released. So we can see that just keep faith. It's all perfect. Seriously? You're not at all concerned? Well, what now? Oh, I don't know. The apocalypse? We're fine. I bundled renters with my car insurance through Progressive for just six bucks more a month. Where? There's looters running wild out there. Covered for theft. Okay, that's a tidal wave of fire. Covered for fire. All right, fine. I'm gonna get something to eat. The boy's kind of a drama queen. Just wait. Where's my burrito? Worst apocalypse ever. Protecting you till the end. Now that's progressive.